A 10 kilometer long wall is coming up in Abidjan. But environmentalists don't complain. They welcome it. The wall is being built along the edge of the Banco National Park in Ivory Coast's larger city to protect it from neighboring districts. It stretches across 3,500 hectares of primary forest, one of just two virgin forests worldwide at the heart of a metropolis, together with Rio de Janeiro's Tijuca. But the city's growing population threatens to swallow up the reserve. You have the nibbling of boundaries. There is urbanization, new neighborhoods being created that tend to encroach on the park. Hence the idea of erecting sections of fence to protect the land base of the park. Unauthorized construction has already eaten up 36,000 square meters of forest in six years. Locals cut down trees for firewood. Others hunt animals. Cigarette butts thrown from cars passing on the highway sometimes start fires. The Ivorian Office for Parks and Reserves hopes to complete the project in three months and also carries out patrols. We have a mobile brigade consisting of mobile commandos who provide security 24 hours a day. We have installed equipment which allows us to know in real time who is coming into the Banco. The Ivorian government and Japan are financing the war, but funds still lack to run the site. Residents emphasize the park's importance for the city's six million people. Without this forest, today we would have many sick people in Abidjan. It captures all the carbon dioxide from factories, cars, car fumes. We must do everything to preserve this forest. Authorities hope that once complete, the wall will keep the park intact for residents, and then that it will draw tourists to enjoy its green paths. <laughs>